If Goodwill isn't so good where you live, there are alternatives. We're going to check out a couple of places today that have thrift store prices and things that collectors want at prices that dealers can afford to resell. You probably have places like this where you live. So come on, let's go. Somebody uh, left a comment saying, oh, I know places in Evansville that you guys haven't been before and asked if we would like a list. And so, of course, we said yes. So we're going to follow a little bit of that list today and see what we find. This will be fun because we're going to go to some places that I've never seen. Here we go in this strip mall here. It is called Seek and Find Consignment. I see signs that say furniture and home decor. This is how you keep a consignment store fresh. They start discounting if it sits, and if it sits too long, they donate it, and that makes people price things right and move them out for sale. And I see some nice stuff. I see some older things. This curved pew is an interesting shape if you didn't just want a straight one up against a wall. It's got a little more style. It's priced at $4.27, but again, at consignment stores like this, you're going to see when the discounts are coming. So if you like something and it's too much, you know when to come back. And a lot of people who shop for this sort of thing, that's what they do. They just have a regular routine where they come back whenever they think it's time and they pick up the things that have gone down to the price that they're looking for. It's a good way to shop if you're in an area where you can keep coming back. Moon and Stars, $19 on the cobalt candlestick holders. I like the shape of these little blue transferware pieces. Let's look at those. Big Sooner glass vase here for $48. Those are like the swans that you see made in Oklahoma, except this one. I said Sooner, but no, it's too thick and it's got casing. That is a Murano label, I see. Here's some more moon and stars in here. We'll take a look at prices. 19 on the bowl is not bad. I like the bud vase as well. Now this one is Sooner glass, the cobalt. Very nice color for that. We are starting to see these Anchor Hawking 1980s big vases. They're just very simple glass with the fired on color inside. That is not in the glass, that is on the glass on the inside. But this one's $17. They are starting to sell a whole case full of this false graph tea rose. These French style Furniture pieces that were popular in America in the late 60s and early 70s are popular with some people again, and this vanity with the fold-up is especially interesting at $200. It's a more unusual piece. Let's take a look at this table and see. It's Lucite and Chrome, which I love, but I'm thinking it's pretty new, and the reason is these rubber pads, the way that they're done. It's priced at $157. Yeah, it even still has the new sticker on the tempered glass. So that is not an old design there. It is often the case in the consignment stores, you know, they're selling for clients, so they're going to start things out at retail. That's why you have to keep checking. Ceramic houses, these are made in Japan as cookie jars and canisters in the early 80s, another early 80s style that is going to make a comeback, I suspect. Interesting in the silver paint, this is priced at 157 that's very green. A bunch of courier and Ives dinnerware, and then the Metlock sculpted grape. This might be worth getting depending on prices because that's a pattern that especially the serving pieces still sell. And then these, yeah, these are fun actually. Bucks, that doesn't seem bad actually for what they are. That They would definitely double somewhere or more. Boy, I like those. They're the best thing I've seen. All right, we're gonna walk back in here because Zeno pointed out a typewriter in its case, and it is now half price, and so it is $38 rather than $76. $76 to me is like above retail on this model. $38 is a good deal. I think I might have one already in stock. But I do like these stools for only $15 a piece. They have a mark saying Snyder Philadelphia from about 1970. They were just inexpensive when they were new, but they definitely... Uh, a look that is absolutely right for today and the people who are collecting today and the condition seems to be good so we'll see if we can fit those if you like fancy well here's fancy and I do see some of this marble and the travertine coming back into style they are asking 1500 for the sofa 
And boy, they've got the full ensemble, don't they? Atari Centipede, 1500. This is going to be from about 19... When was Centipede? 82? Yeah, it was like 7, 700 now. Oh, I see. It's... Uh, uh, no, that'll that's coming soon. It hasn't gone down yet. I think they just got this in. Yeah. But that is a really cool thing for somebody who likes old video games. I mean, there's the console and two people can play. Somebody bought the roll top disc. These look like these are actually pressed back, meaning the design is pressed into the wood. This is oak, but this is from about 1900. That was a way they decorated. So don't say these are carved because these are actually heat carved. They would just press the, it's like pyrography. They basically would press the hot form into it and that would create the design for a set of six oak ladder back chairs. I mean, they're different designs, but they look good together and only $227. I see they've got some vintage housewares back here too. The little Dutch cookie jar boy. This is cute right out of the 70s. Most of these were made in Japan, and that one is 26 for the set. This 1930s piece somehow features a Fire King bowl that's a nice one that has some value for $21. But I don't think that was its original ice bucket. Now, unfortunately, if you're not Margine, you would not probably want to buy this, but this is one of the custom-made pieces from Louisville Stoneware, and there are some interesting custom-made pieces from them that are worth a bunch of money because the production is very limited. This false graph with the bird on it is a nice piece for $17. And here is the Regal pitcher with the eight cups. This one is priced at $37 for the whole set. If I happen to be back here when it goes down, actually it's now down to $31. If I happen to be back here when it goes down to $20, I'll pick it up. Nice newer Le Creuset pots, $87 for the three. Again, there's money to be made if you're a reseller going to consignment stores. It just depends on what you're looking for. I'm not seeing a lot that I can make money on as a vintage reseller, but there is stuff here that somebody will do well with. Maybe even this cookie pot that's missing some of its decoration, unfortunately, priced at $26, or the McCoy cookie jug for $25. Well, I understand why I can't sell mine for 200 then if that one's only 45. Wow. Cuz it's uh, cuz it's a, tomorrow is when it goes on discount. This is a neat scale and you know, some people really do weigh things out at home. This is meant to be in a store, of course. But that seems like a very, very good price for this piece. Old sewing machine here, the old treadle style. It is priced at 106. And then we have this. I especially like the one with the two women in it, although I think that print is newer. The ballerinas, they have that priced at 95. Then the ancestor picture is 73. And then this one is very sad because this person is going off to the war. This one is currently at $74.20, and it will go down to its final discount on the 23rd and then at that point if it doesn't sell it will end up in a donation bin and going to one of the thrift stores in the area so this is why it pays to keep track on your consignment stores this is a handsome old hanging lamp 20th century but it definitely has the look of being older and this one is priced at 155 and falling. It has an old coat hanging on it, which is actually down to $56.50. That's a pretty good price. However, it is actually faux fur, so it has a good feel, but it's not real. These 70s makeup mirrors with all the lights that flip from the magnetize or from the magnifier to the regular mirror. Well, it's different lighting conditions. Right, yeah, the true to light, yes. Day, office, evening, and home. So you can make yourself up for where you're going to be. And I think that is why these are popular, because I don't think they make anything quite the same now. So $21 is probably a good price. And this is interesting out of the 70s. This is an Italian wall set. So you have this center hanging piece here. 
that looks like some sort of a shade or something, and then these various prints of European castles would be hung around it. Oh yes, some cameo glass here. It sure is cameo glass, but it looks like it's the newer stuff. What's that? And it's definitely priced that. Uh, the tumble up looks like it could be, it says it's Polish. And that makes sense because it's a little thicker casing and not as um, refined as the Italian. And then they have a Lalique vase sitting in the middle there. That's a nice piece. Actually, they have several very nice Lalique pieces. The strawberry frosted vase in the middle is a nice piece. That's going to go down to 255 as of tomorrow. Down to 330 on the frosted bird vase. And there's also a compote at 215, and then the dub is 120. Only $32 on this uh, Brosseau signed perfume bottle. Now they're a little higher on the Waterford stems. They're selling those in pairs at $40 each. Even old doorknobs. I really like this. It's a ceiling lamp uh, light. It's a hanging ceiling fixture light but it's in the Western motifs from the 1950s. It's priced at $19 currently. I wish it was tomorrow because tomorrow it'll be 16 and at 16 I might spring for it and take it west. And this place even has some old Lionel train gear. Yeah, those are great. Madeline Originals from California and these stripe things are really what she's the best known for. They didn't produce a whole lot of stuff but it's a good look and I think those prices are pretty good actually. Um, I'm going to look him up, but I think 21 and 17, yeah, I mean, she's not as well known as some of the designers, but it's a great look for that price, so I think we might get those, yeah, nice, nice look there, as soon as I uh, quit filming, we're going to look those up. Oh, let's see what's around this corner here. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, those are pretty cool, actually, and it's interesting the way that they bend up instead of down. This is definitely a 70s color. Oh boy, yeah, they're so knit, and that is very good. A lot of great designers worked for them, and they are priced at seven oh five for the pair. But now we're down to three fifty. At three fifty, they might be buyable and resaleable in some place, but I'd still have to get one hundred seventy five a piece. I'd have to give 175 a piece, so I'll have to check those out. Neat looking though. Then there's this. Very cute tapestry chair, priced at 145 So they do have old stuff in here, and it's not just furniture. There are some other old things as well. This is interesting. Someone took an old stick and ball piece, and I don't necessarily approve of the shelves they cut to put in there, but look at those doorknob feet. That's kind of fun. Well, I am going to walk through here really quickly just to see if there's anything we missed. I see a big old oak chest of drawers, and then even older 1870s with the candle stands, a 1920s sideboard. I'm not in the market for any of this big furniture, but they certainly have a selection here. Those old stools are really chewed, so well, yeah, one of them the dog got to, I would say. These are very cute from the bicentennial, from the bicentennial era. And if you need the white to go with the red and blue, there's a utility cart for $54 right behind them. Art Modern chest with the square mirrors, kind of a neat shape. But I don't see anything else that I think is up my alley. This large pottery vase here is a company that we haven't paid a lot of attention to, but probably should. They're Vohan of California. This one started at $19. There is the label. Let me get it where you can see it. A lot of people think that these are newer pieces, and especially because this doesn't have a lot of wear, but it's a late 80s piece that's just sat there. These were made in California back then. And my guess is whoever painted these had this with it. You think? And here is a bird's eye maple version of a high boy with the legs and you know bird's eye maple is definitely something we see in the 20s and a little bit in the 50s i think this is a 50s piece generally we see rock maple in the 50s so 
nice handsome piece of furniture, 347 is the starting price on that. And then these are Boson's heads from England. They've covered up the part that says Boson or Boson. And these are starting priced about $19, and that seems to be about retail now, but they will get down to a price where they'd be worth picking up, because they do sell at least certain ones. They like the seafaring ones, it seems, still. Habitat for Humanity stores are a great place to look. They're all over the country, and a lot of them are starting to carry smalls, and a lot of them get vintage smalls because they do a lot of house cleanouts. So we're going to see what they have. And he has already gone into the store ahead of me. So I've got to hurry up and get all the good stuff. Well, that was an interesting thing to see right away. And we're going to go from here and see if we can find anything great to buy. That one's not for sale. I don't blame it. But it is really a cool mascot. Of course, Habitat is best known for furniture and furnishings. So we're going to look at that. This looks like a chrome craft out of the early 80s. And on top of it are some Fiesta Ware dishes that people might not recognize as Fiesta because of the colors. In the late 60s, they extended the Fiesta Ware line by putting these patterns on them. And they are called Casual Stone. They didn't even advertise it as Fiesta. So this is when Fiesta was kind of at its... The bowl nader, but you can tell right away that the bowl is fiesta because of the way the stripes are. So, yes, this is something that uh, is a little different here. So, the lovely Xenomorph will be taking the lovely fiesta dishes that are not marked fiesta that people don't recognize up to the counter because they are $15 for the whole stack. Okay, now we're going into lighting. Lighting mainly looks new, and I expect a lot of new stuff here too because they get a lot of donations of things like light bulbs and things that people can use, painting things. You know, um, Habitat is doing one of the houses right now in Dawson Springs where the tornado hit, and they are the agency that is helping someone rebuild their house and their life there. So it's a pretty cool thing that they do. Okay, well, there are some vintage although in this case two worn club pieces and this here with the vegetables around the edge is very 70s avocado looking but a little bit too worn christmas stuff looks newer pillows cords vacuums i mean this place really is more to the practical but then here is a bunch of ceramic oh and here's this that's a go along for the pyrex wear and it is only a dollar the cheese dome, which is about to be domeless. Does that actually fit that one? No. I mean, it, oh, you didn't see this? I did not. That looks like it might be... It's got the little... Okay. It's got the little Fenton Oval. Very good. Wow. Two dollars. Great price. We'll take it. Those things. Uh, I Those think they're really newer really than they look. Things. Yeah. Well, I mean, it. it's like that. Okay, I think it's I think it's right. I mean, it's raised so that it won't wobble off. So, yeah, I would say that would be worth getting because it does. Well, does it really it match? Fast. It's no. It's got some. Yeah, you know what? I'm not as impressed with that as I look at it up close. It is of the era, but it's not. Uh, it's not fitting right, and I just I'm suspicious of it. Yeah, I'm thinking no. So we're gonna get this. Yeah. That's a great one. Thank you. Good eye. Unless it's broken. You see the Begay, Rex Begay signature there, and the pencil drawing. Begay is a pretty famous name in a lot of Navajo artistry, and you see it in other artistry as well. So whenever I see that name, I look it up and see if this person is somebody of note. However, Putting the label right on the piece was not a great idea. Your favorite. A dollar, for yes. Mom. For mom, yes, exactly. Oh. oh, yes, a little nursery planter. And some old planters here. I don't see anything that looks particularly exciting, but let's see, this one looks heavy. 
And it does have a mark on it. CR. I think this is another Crookston pottery. USA. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is another one of uh, Cooks and Pottery's pieces. It looks right for these are nice. that color. Oh, yeah. These are nice. These are shrimp cocktail icers. I used to have a whole set of these back when I imagined serving shrimp cocktail in Florida more than I ended up doing. Uh, but they're great because you put the ice in here and then whatever you put in here stays cold. So it's good for, oh, I don't know, tuna salad on a hot day. You don't like this? Oh, I like it just fine. I think that's American Bisque. There's a few planters here that are decent, but unfortunately we're getting into where in most places in North America, we are going away from planting season. This with the little pig is kind of fun. Let's see if we can see. This might be newer than I think, looking at the way the glaze is done, but I'm just curious. Yeah, that looks pretty recent. Joe Van. Oh, yes. Nineteen eighty-six. Yep, somebody made it at home. Lots of useful places too, and of course it's a much more utilitarian store because they're selling architectural pieces. You know, again, they are taking salvage out of one home and using it to help another home be built or someone to do fix-it projects around the house. A lot of people with rental units come here and buy to keep things maintained. Nice double sink there, but none of this looks like it's older enough. The yellow toilet's got some age. If you were doing a 70s retro bathroom. Sometimes you'll find older furniture that's of collector and vintage value here, and sometimes you'll find things like this cutout shelf unit here that might just be useful for display if you're doing real-world display somewhere. This is only priced at $10. Now, they said that they had an area that was primarily more vintage, so I am going to keep looking for that. But you see some things like these headboards. I mean, they're very basic, but imagine repurposing that into a bench. That front one really has a good modernist look if you did something with it. And it's $5. They have an art area in here, and I always like to check this out because you never know. This person here, Bill Grandstaff, is someone who's known in the area. It is pencil signed from the 70s called Homemaker, and it was sponsored by Kentucky Homemakers in 1983. And this one is priced only at $5. Asian embroidery, but I don't see anything that really jumps out as being original art or paintings that might have high value. This says, let's make a deal, and it looks like something you would have won on that television show, Let's Make a Deal, back in the 70s. So I can see why they're ready to let it go. They are asking, it was $200, so yeah, time to make a deal on that one. This is the kind of 70s that's hard to sell. Samantha Stevens has twitched her nose, and her sofa has returned, and it is $30. Now, you'd have to do something about fluffing up those pillows, and it has yellowed on the arms a little bit, but uh, somebody likes it. If it's it was. Really nice and long. Yes, it looks like the interior of a Ford LTD from that era, which you would have liked too, down to 17 bucks. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to put anti macassars on to cover up the fading in the arms, but it's actually solid for that price. This one is the same era, but it's actually in better shape, and it's priced at $150. Then they've got a little bit of a vintage area, and they say red tag items are one half off. So let's take a look and see what they might have. These little plates look English to me. Maybe Bell. Royal Albert, actually. Well, that's not a bad thing. This is a nice old piece from about 1910. It's got some staining, so... For some people who are doing old farmhouse and they just want that look, that would not be a problem. Some newer snow babies by Department 56. I look for the old ones. There's not a whole lot in precious moments that are really valuable, but there are still some, so don't write them all off when you see them. Old insulators. This is depression glass. This little set here is called floral. Oh, dogwood, actually. I'm sorry. Floral or poinsettias from the 1930s, but this is dogwood. A very cute pattern, and I see a price of $8.
and eight dollars so you know honestly it's a little less than retail but not cheap enough for me to buy this looks like it's Belique, but it's got its ear chipped unfortunately that would be half off but condition is a problem this picture here is $25 with the discount and it has a very faint American Ohio mark on it from about 1910. Down here, a little bit of Pyrex, the Americana here. Let's see if we can find a price. Okay, that one, yeah, $30. So they're a little ambitious on the prices at this particular section. And yet there were other things we found that were a really good deal. So you just never know in a place like this. This looks Italian. Hand-painted. Yep. And the price on that, also at $30. $30. Well, that's actually kind of cute, that glass one. And people are liking those glass ones. I think that's about retail. There's another one. And this one has a log cabin on it. I think I have one that has Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street that I need to clean up and get out there. Little lace lady. This is made of real lace that is soaked in the porcelain and then burned off so the porcelain remains, but that's why it's very fragile and this is broken, unfortunately. Yeah, he's broken too. Aw, that's too bad. The flask is cool. People buy flasks, but that one is monogram and that makes it a little tougher. Silver Fade condiment set for 30 is not a terrible price. And then these are, I think Sadler made these teapots. They're 25 each, minus whatever the purple price is. Yes, there's the James Sadler. Flights around the world. Soroban. Soroban. Oh, very nice. I think I just sold mine, actually. How much is that one? $6. Oh, you know, for that price, that's honestly worth getting. I think that'll clean up. I think that's just from a sticker, don't you? Mm, yeah. If you think it's not good, well, I will take you at your uh, I think it's like, discretion if you think it's not going to come off. Mm, right. Yeah, I don't know. It's also on the beads. Yeah. What do you think? I think it'll probably clean up fine. I would go ahead and get it. Really? I think so, yeah. Just because I, I I always sell them for about fifteen or twenty, and I just sold the oh, last one I had. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah, oh, they're metal. Yeah. These are going to be right around nineteen seventy, and it's funny that they're Sexton, which was one of the companies that made this um, pressed aluminum ware, and they're basically making it look sort of like treasure craft canisters of that time. So we know the era. And then here is the snowflake pattern. This is a good one with the lid. That is about right, but it's got some chips, so that's going to negate that. It's too bad because at half price, that would have sold for 45 or 50 with that holder especially. Yes, the cards say bunny bread, so these are definitely old. And local. Yes. You can tell by the Lucite handles. These are out of about 1970. Well, we found a few things. So I guess it's time to go check out the next place. We are getting out of here with a box full of cool stuff for $25. I'm especially excited about the Fiesta Ware that is not marked in a way that a lot of people are fooled by. So I think that we might have gotten a great deal there. We'll find out. Um, by the way, if you are liking this video, please click the uh, thumbs up for us. And you can also uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because that way you can click the bell to be notified of future videos. It's the only way we can let you know when we're going to have new content. And we've been putting out a lot of extra stuff lately, too. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. This is a cool table here. I like these hexagonal that are done in the Moorish Revival style from the 20s. It's $35. That seems like a good price. Big old couch here, too. This is American Pride Thrift Store. And this was one that was recommended by this uh, nice viewer who said that there's places that you need to check out that you haven't seen. And I have to admit, this one had completely escaped me. I mean, it looks like they have been collecting stuff for a long, long time and that there could be just about anything in here. I like this old carriage and the driver. This reminds me of that funky store we went to in St. Petersburg. Tall teapot there, $15 in the green. 
this seems to be like you would expect. I mean, it's a flea market. They've got some new stuff. They've got some old stuff. It's going to be a mix of things, and we might find some bargains here. I saw a bunch of horse figurines that were only a dollar a piece, but the owner told me that they had damage, which was nice of him to spare me having to look through. This gal, I think, is 40, which is a pretty decent price on her. That was the Coca Cola tray from 1950. Probably the most commonly made of the old ones. That was just a very popular style that year. Billery beer. The politically correct choice. I have never heard of this before. Residential Bottlers, Cleveland, Ohio. $38.95 on the Conestoga lamp. They have one of these camel pairs that I've always wanted. Hadn't really thought about one in brass. We'll have to see what the price is on these. I think I'd have to come back. I don't really have room in the car today because we made a Costco run. This looks like Blue Mountain Pottery or nope. The base is not red where it's sort of a gray tone. So this is going to be one of the other potters, I think Laclede, if I'm not mistaken, similar with the orange splash, but you notice it's not as all encompassing as the Blue Mountain either. Blue Mountain is the most collectible of the Canadian ceramics that had this effect in the mid 20th century. This little wall pocket's cute for just $7 with the lilies, but it's got a big chunk out of it. That's too bad. Cute little guy there. And then this angel. One dollar. Pretty purple vase from, or you were from the 1960s, priced at 15. Not a terrible price by any means. 8.95 each on the little floral enamel painted bud vases. So the prices seem to be just fine here. I have the larger of this pitcher for sale. This one's only five dollars, this mug. It's got that compare style painting. That's actually a very good price. And these little rooster plates here look like they have some age as well. No marks on the back, but they're definitely heavier and hand painted. This place even has upholstery remnants. Well, this place is definitely a place I'll return to because you definitely get the impression that you could find a bargain in here and that anything could come through here. But because of that, you also could end up not finding anything on a particular given day. And I think that may be the case for me on this day. However, I am grateful to know that there's a place like this here. Because again, anything could float through here at any point. And I don't think they would necessarily price it very high. See a Moon and Stars pedestal dish over there. Priced at $12.95. And they have teapots galore. A little bit of this blue Harkerware stone china. A little bit of blue willow. This old plate from about 1910. Give us this day our daily bread. Cute little 30s Lesterware teapot for $5. And then there's this tomato set. We see a lot of this in this part of the country. And because of that, it's priced very well here. It's only $15 for this entire set. More teapots. Teapots galore. Let's see how much the motto wear one is. Only $4. That might have to come with me. Well, American Pride didn't end up offering a whole lot for me this trip, but I definitely will come back because I saw things that if it weren't for the condition or space considerations, I would have bought here. So I think it'll be on the list for the next thrifting in Evansville. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one. Also click thumbs up to like this video and check the description for information about our Patreon, our memberships. We've got a lot of different levels with different perks and bonus videos and early content. Also, please do check out our website, theantiquenomad.com for appraisal help. And we'll see you again for more adventures in the antique and vintage community soon. Bye for now.